Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I never called the police on you, but now I will. Yes, on you. See you in prison. Guess what, bitch? See you oh. in Just, jail. Let me bitch. tell you something. Get this bitch out of here. That bitch is going you down. You Guess what, bitch? Lock his ass up. You going to jail? You going to jail? Lock his ass up. Lock his, lock his ass up. You going to jail? 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 Love and Marriage Huntsville star Martel Hoat is facing a domestic violence charge for harassing communications. He was booked into the Madison County Jail today around 4 this afternoon and has since been released. This show is number one on the network is because the cast have this chemistry that's undeniable. Mm -hmm. You can fake it, although some people love to say the show is fake and they're actors. You can't fake it. She don't, know, she don't know if it's a video that, that exists. She doesn't know that. She did. I, 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 I sent her a screenshot. I did. I sent, okay. her screen, I sent her a screenshot. To a picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, stop all that fucking bullying me and all this kind of stuff. And, and I sent her a picture. Um, of, of, of her and I. I did. I sent her a screenshot. Um, of, of, of her and I. I did. I sent her a screenshot. Um, of, of, of her and I. I did. I sent her a screenshot. Um, and... and <laughs> So I sent her a picture, and on the um, on the um, document it says seemingly sexual. Um, of, of of her and I, I did. I sent her a screenshot. Seemingly sexual, because whatever it was, I marked it out. And of her and I, I did. I sent her a screenshot. And I deleted it out my phone, right? So I don't know exactly what picture. So I want to I want to know what picture it is. So. Of her and I, I did. I sent her a screenshot. Does this <clears> have <throat> anything to do with what Carson Blue said about? No. Oh, sex tape? It, yeah. There ain't no sex tape. I need to make it clear that I want okay. the video to be out. <laughs> I need to make it clear that I want okay. the video to be out. You even went as far as saying, but the video is of them. He's mad at me. He feels like I should just listen. Like, come on now. And then I sent her a screenshot and I told her, I said, um, I said, I don't, I don't care if this ruined me or not. I said, leave me alone. Arianne sucking your dick. Because we want to know. Arianne. Uh, not Arianne, I'm sorry. Melody. You know, it's, so it's, it's no sex tape. <laughs> Um, so what? So nobody what, got a sex tape. Oh, yeah, ain't nobody seen no, seen no, seen no sex tape of Melody Giving doing nothing. you head. If anything, Ariana could only have said, um, Martel um, is really upset and he's talking about uh, putting out a, um, a sex tape of Melody or something like that. You know, because I know Ariana had mentioned too um, about her knowing something. No, she had went into my phone and saw and saw that picture. If anything, Ariana could only have said, um, Martel um, is really upset and he's talking about um, putting out a, um, a sex tape of Melody or something like that. I know Ariane didn't go to her and say that Martel talking about me creating a fake page and want me to post. Like, why would I need her to create a fake page and post why? I can create a fake page and post it. And that's why I deleted it at that time.
You know what I'm saying? But how do you feel about Arion just talking too much and oversharing? Sometimes I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. You know? At all. Um, so, so some people, you know, they make mistakes, you know, I've, um, I've, that's taken care of. And some people just make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody does. You know? But so Arianne it wasn't, got, it wasn't no video. Does Arion have that picture? Did no, she take it? No. No? Okay. No, she ain't. Ariane, she I know she probably would have put that shit She would have put that shit out. Right. <laughs> and then I sent her a screenshot. And I told her, I said, um, I, said I, don't, I don't care if this ruined me or not. I said, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? I sent her the screenshot. And I never said I was going to post a video. I never said that I was going to do that. But I, I guess it kind of, it was saying that if you don't stop, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I do. Which one of those shoes you're going to put your foot to kick Martell off your show? <laughs> I will be addressing the Martell comment on my podcast tour with Melody. Don't worry, I'll address it <clears throat> on live, in person. If you don't got your tickets, get them, baby. Me and Melody Cherie, January 21st, okay? I'll be addressing Mr. Holt then. Individual's name, it opens up everything that they, every public record regarding that individual. and. An individual named Martel LeVar Holt was convicted of possession of burglary tools in 2007 in Morgan County, Alabama. Um, that's a matter of public record. Um, the, the individual went to trial, was convicted by a jury, uh, was sentenced to 10 years, but that sentence was suspended and they were placed on three years probation. At the end of that probationary term, um, and about seven years later, that individual applied and got a pardon from the Bureau of Pardon and Paroles in 2017. Well, then people want to make up certain things. And then just to say that I'm incarcerated for abusing somebody, that's even, that's worse. So that's the reason I have to go the extra mile by coming but on live. Your show is the number one show. Like, why? It's... Yeah. Yeah, that, that that that's unfortunate that you've been talked about for since the inception of the show, I know I had to, and I you have not been able to make an appearance. Right. But more than hearing, man, I've been seeing y'all go crazy on social media. Like, what is all that about? I'm in like a couple little groups or whatever, and they have. Oh my gosh, uh, boy, those groups are. Cut no, those groups be killing me. I heard. Oh, they on you. They're on you. <laughs> they are on you, dog. Like what they be talking about? They are coming with all sorts of screenshots. I'm, my God. Oh yeah, tear me up. Right. Do you see that somebody beat her car up? Spray painted her car. Yeah. Did something to yeah. her car. Yeah. Yeah. But I tell you what, at the end of the day, man, I ain't gonna let nobody come between. My family and I. Mm -hmm. Our happiness. That's good, man. Yeah. We did our dirt. Right. And, but the thing is, you don't disrespect my wife, though, you know? That's why I called her peasant at the beginning. Nobody knows that. You think she felt like she she might have been disrespected? Uh, for me to say something like that? Yeah. Oh, of and, course. And it might be lashing back. Man. Obviously, I know her and a few of her associates. So yeah. Just, it, it seems kind of a little bit outside of her uh, character. I actually happened to know the young lady in question. There was this uh, restaurant slash bar that all of us used to go to and uh, hang out, and um, she worked there. I found out about Martell's mistress when the rest of the world found out. And when I found out who, I was shocked even more. It has come to an end. I hope so. Man, listen, I gave that time too much time. You know what I'm talking about? Gotcha. So I'm moving forward from all of that, man. Period. Well, I, I feel that we're still working through things um, uh, because what I, what I put her through is not easy. Um, to get over, but she's genuinely um, happy now. She's genuinely smiling. Um, we're genuinely um, working together. We're limiting, um, you know, the the bickering, and things of that nature, which what came with um, the infidelity. A lot of the um, horrific times. I mean, it, it came um, with dealing with another person being involved in in our marriage, you know? Um, and, and then too, um, a lot of the, the crazy things came with her contacting my wife and that put my wife in a place where um, she looked at me a different way as well. Who would feel the pain if your marriage was destroyed? My children, my wife, myself. Um, yeah. yeah. 
My entire family would feel it. Your entire family would, would yeah. feel that. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, it is. It's over. It is. Ultimately, my behavior was wrecking my marriage. I understand that. I totally agree with Dr. Francis. I feel that I was totally at fault because I know what I've done wrong and I know how I'm going to fix it. So you never asked him to leave his wife for you? Um, I never asked him to leave his wife for me, but when I realized that I was trying to break away from him and he was not trying to let go, that's when I was like, well, if you're so unhappy, leave her. I have said that before. I used to have conversations with him about, you know, the kids being raised, you know, in two-parent households. I understood that completely. I was never pressuring the issue, ever. I have never pressured him. Um, <laughs> was it convenient to date someone who was married who wouldn't mind um, splurging on you, per se, the purses, the bags, the trips, the cars, you know? I would say it was convenient, but it was never, that's not what I was in it for. Okay. Um, I just feel like I end up getting caught up because of me and Martel's connection. But I'm not gonna say I was just in it for that. Like, but Martel was good to me, you know? He helped me out a lot, um, yeah. When you say help you out, like how? Like, um, <laughs> he helped me out a lot, we gonna leave it there. So I, should, I mean, for me to have a child was, I mean, it, and I don't wanna say it just kinda happened, but it did just kinda happen. This wasn't your first time being pregnant by him? No, it? it wasn't my first time being pregnant by him. How many times were you pregnant by? Twice. And did he pay or you paid for the? One time I miscarried. Okay, I pop you know, mm -hmm. I apologize about um, that. But the second time he paid. Okay. And he didn't force me. It was my decision. We were pregnant at the same time. You and Melody? Mm-hmm. With her, her baby before the last baby? Mm-hmm, we were pregnant at the same time. Wow. That girl, they didn't have that girl. So they had to just keep on using and playing and, you know, doing all the other extra stuff that they're continuing to do. Dang, but somebody's saying on you, somebody said on you pregnant? Hey, dang, well, people say anything. Yeah, hey, y'all, yeah, meth sales. We were pregnant at, at the same time. You and Melody? Mm-hmm. With her? Her baby before the last baby. Mm hmm We were pregnant at the same time. real is, wow. Martell ain't gonna be going to jail for nothing. And again, 20 years ago, I didn't go to jail. Somebody said I went to jail. No, I didn't go to jail. No. I've never been behind those bars. Lord, please. You ain't, you ain't gonna... That was stupid. How the hell are you gonna get fired on your day off? <laughs> Let's what see is what this, this is, baby. What is this for it's the baby? A treat. I don't think it's edible, though. You edible. <laughs> but no, this is um, a push gift. A push gift. Yeah. So this is a gift given for you know, um, like you know, for us to remember this moment. Really, you got me a push gift. Yes. So this is uh, a a, a tennis bracelet. Martell. Well deserving. You're gonna make me cry. Well, don't cry. No, why'd you do that? Because <laughs> it's something that you you know that you deserve. And you know, I hate myself for everything I put you through. You know, you don't deserve it. So the thing is, I really want to be everything that you want your husband to be, you know? Like I always said, the day I met you, that I know God put us together. And uh, for better or worse, you showed me that you're gonna be there. And this is just a small token. I love you, okay? When I think of for better or for worse, I think of the first thing, the acknowledgement that there are going to be some times that aren't always great. I really hope that this positive place that my marriage is in will last. I am optimistic about that. I mean, we've both been going through hell this past, what, two years for real. And God showed me that's not what he wants for us. I'm turning things around. Um, I was done with Martel. Mm -hmm. I was not talking to him no more. He shows up at my apartment. At this point, I'm in love. Okay. Let's be honest. And he's like, I don't even want to come in. I just want to talk to you. And he kneels down and he's just staring into my eyes and my heart is melting. You and let him in? I end up letting him in. But at that moment, just for him to just try to be like, I don't even want to come in. I just want to talk to you. Just reeling me back in. You know, he told her that he wasn't going to choose. 
and she so stayed basically, three more he, years. He he left it up to her to choose. Well, both of y'all, pretty much. If you want, I would to. say both of us. Yeah. How's Atlanta for you since you've been here? I think for me, the good piece has been getting out of the toxic place of Huntsville. It's allowed me to get like a peace of mind. And um, you know, I filed for my divorce. I know that you want to get this divorce final, and so do I. So I'm on my turn. So you're so saying so do you. So why was last night you texting me asking me to keep our family together? So you saying you want it. So do I. I want to get this divorce okay. final. Make up your mind. I'm, I'm happy that you just mentioned that for us to keep my keep the family together. And one of the main reasons, so if you're gonna say that, say everything. Okay. What else? So 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 and when I say keep my family together, what do, what have I said? T why I, don't you tell me? I said that I want my kids to be raising up. Um, with their mom and their father and under one. Martel staying at home with his family or whatever he wanted to do, I was always fine with that. I too was raised in a two parent household. So I used to have conversations with him about, you know, the kids being raised, you know, in two parent households. I understood that completely. Right, and I said if, if, I, if I were to even think about us being together, it would really be for the kids. I don't okay. think you want us to be together for the kids, no of sir. Course. Okay. You All talk right. you talk about okay. the kids, yes, but you oh, okay. also okay. the yeah. way you're okay. saying it right it's, now is not no, right. That, that's exactly how it was. Oh, so you're saying that you wanted us to stay under the same roof but not be married, but your be their kids have their mom and dad in the same house. Is that is that correct? No. Let's talk about business. We're getting personal. Oh. Daddy! How y'all doing? So she oh. How you doing? Obviously, because Martell and I have to co-parent, you know, I had to give him the address of where I'm living, but not for him to be popping up, not for him to be taking advantage of knowing where I live. He better not be popping up, doing drive-bys, having folks drive by, none of that. Like, why are you here right now? What you doing here? Wherever my kids are, I can, I'm popping up. Um, so... We're not sleeping in the same room, Millie. I wasn't going to... Oh, okay. okay just... Martell joking about us being in the same room, that's a dream of his. He wish shits that I would want him to be in the same room as me. Sure. I'm going to sleep on the same floor with the kids. Say what? I'm sleep on the same floor with the kids. The, so the bunk beds for the kids are that's down right. here on this floor, so it's not a big deal. Oh. I'm get on out my room now. Shut the door behind you now. Come on. Go on. Yeah, go on. Crispy white room. Yes, that's right. Uh, Won't Martell in him. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang out no, there, no, 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 no. when, when I see you with a dude, it, it was a shocker to me. You know, it's the first time me saying something like that. So, who else come over to Condos where you was going to be at? You didn't tell me you were coming here. You said, I, where y'all going? I said, I'll be over there. No, <laughs> I, no. Oh, it doesn't matter. No. Um, I had all intentions to come over there. But for what? Because I wanted to. I saw her at a restaurant. You know, she said she was on a, on a date. I'm like, oh, okay. Just to see you and Melody right there together with the kids, that's the most beautiful thing in the world. I wouldn't want to cause my children any heartbreak under any conditions. My kids, they, they understand um, what divorce means. They, they understand that uh, mommy and daddy are apart. I want them to be hopeful. Hell, I'm hopeful. We'll, we'll, we'll see uh, what God has in stores in the, in, in the future. He told her that he wasn't going to choose. And she so stayed basically, three more he, years. He, like, and then people think, you can let yourself go. So, no, at it and... I, moving forward, I won't be fighting with Melody because, like, right now, I, I'm not filming right now mm -hmm. um, because I'm, I'm like, I, I, we, got, we got to move forward. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and, and I'm, hope that's, I, I'm hoping that that's what everybody else want to do, too. You know, because I'm tired of Melody creating situ me fucking going to jail, um, us going to court, her trying to get the kids like, why would you want to take your kids away from an active good father? You know, why? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Stop trying to create storylines. So it's for me, I just won't own Carlos to almost be on my side on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's serious. This real life. You know, outside of those cameras, when those cameras go, when them people go back to New York, when they go back to LA, when they go back to Texas. Our lives are still here with these kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When they go cash them checks, we we still here. You know? Yeah. And 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 that's the that's the sad part about it, because you know, we on all these on all these reality shows, it's like sometimes, you know, we everybody wants to see the drama, but that shit real though, you know?
that shit be real. I mean, especially when somebody, the unfortunate part is people be creating shit. Um, even though they're still real when they create it, it turns into a real situation. You know, like my fucking situation right now is real. Me yeah. going to jail for a fucking text message. Like everything that I showed you, my she could have went to jail for everything that you've got seen for mm-hmm. hitting me. She could have gone to jail. She could have gone to jail, you know? But do I want the mother of my children to go to jail? No. No. How would, I, how would her mom feel? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like how my mom felt. My yeah. mom is hurt. My, my family, my uncles, everybody like, damn. My nephew, you know, my son. Like, I'm not the dude to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? And that's just so unfortunate. But damn. My nephew. You know, my son, like, I'm not the dude to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? And that's just so unfortunate. But again, I, 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 shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have did it, apparently. We went to court and, um, <clears throat> you know, asked for us to have a mediation. And I just asked for six simple things. Like, no man watching the kids. And if you fly to town, make sure you call me before you call any other thing. So give me first right, you know, and I'm going to do the same thing. At least you can call and you be willing to watch your kids. Right. You got a lot of dads out here that don't care about the kids. Right. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I was that type of father, then she'll be trying to ho- chase me down then. If I was a dad that wasn't here, then she'll try to chase me down, you know? But she just said, basically, no. And she said she won't pull that She ain't gonna cut the difference. I know, no. Because I asked her pull test because I didn't like some of the things that she was doing. That's what prompted her to say now she won't pull test So we have to go to trial. What? Right. With them y'all's kids, y'all should be able to work something out. Oh, right. Because, you know, to have somebody to tell you how to do it with your kids, I wouldn't tell nobody. It's horrible. It's awful. You know, I try to talk to her, like, like, let's come to an agreement. She don't even want to do it. I'm like, why not? Why do we need to go and spend $40,000, $50,000? You know what I'm saying? My attorney said we get that, that 10000 bill for, for 20-some days. I got mad at him. <laughs> for 20-some days. When we were in court, I said that I would much rather go to mediation so we can go ahead and resolve this instead of going to trial and things of that nature. Because to me, it's all unnecessary. Millie and her attorney objected to that, uh, but the judge granted it to us or whatnot. So you know, I paid for mediation. I sent over my request um, to Melody and her attorney. They stayed on it for about 30, 40 minutes to only send back, you know, a request of, she just won't full custody. I'm like, what? So I see there was no compromise. And so I told my attorney, we're not going back and forth. I left. Each other's good, got each other's back and all that type of stuff, so. That's right. That's right. That's what kept us together, having each other's back. And mm-hmm. the thing is, Melody always had my back from, um, I guess, the beginning. <laughs> I, I dropped out of school in, what, 04? Mm-hmm. I got back in in 06, and Melody, she's one of the reasons that um, she helped fund my, what, my first my first semester, first two semesters of um, college when I went back to school. Mm-hmm. She loaned me, what, about $1,500? Yep, yep. Woo, big timer. <laughs> Hey, that was something right there back so, yeah. in the day. She so, yeah, did. I tell you, we, ooh, both of us, she ain't had no money for real, long mm-hmm. than $1,500. Right, I was just working two, three jobs at the time, so I was able to, yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. So, yeah, but I tell you, now that had multiplied. Over the years, continue to multiply. That's right, that's yeah. right. Like you said, encouraging each other, having each other's back, that's so important in any relationship. Mm-hmm. And seeing each other through life's changes, life's growth, life's disappointments, life's heartaches. We've experienced so much together. Birthdays, people's anniversaries, our anniversaries. We've experienced death. We've experienced birth. You know, experiencing all of those things together. That's right. That's what makes your bond strong, going through life together. That's right. What is it that you want? Um, well, me knowing that you have too many babysitters, and I... And I, I talked to you several times about it. In terms of too many people, I feel raising my children, too many different influences. I don't know who have them at times because you got like about 10 different babysitters. I don't have 10 different babysitters. Well, I'll say four or five. I have two. No, no, because three people watched them in one day. Um, What, last week or week before last? Yeah. Three three, three people watched them, so you just, you said two, but it's three right there. So your cousin's not their babysitter. But she... She babysitter. watched them for a couple of hours, like okay, two, so, and that so was only because so you weren't that's able. What's considered that, was, that was only because you weren't able to pick them up at the time that they would typically get out of school. The well, week what was that Let day? me finish. What was that Hold day? on a second. Because I got. Ours. It was on the, the, not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before. You picked them up on a Monday. The week prior, the kids were with me. 
We went out of town to Atlanta. Uh, we went and saw my aunt. My cousin just had his baby. Then I had to go to Atlanta for a speaking engagement. So you, so you left the Mitch with your auntie? With my mother. Did, my did your mother? brother Marcus watch them? Because they told me Marcus watched them. Are you ready for me to finish? Yeah, go ahead. Are you ready for me to finish? Then we went while you're keeping your tracks. See, this is why yeah, I, when I you say to. move forward, I don't agree with you. So no, because I gotta, I'm going to address that too. I'm going to address that too. Facts. I'm going to address that. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard for me to say because according to the kids, <laughs> It's always dad did this, dad did that. How, how can my children gather that? Because Melody implanted that in That's not true. Don't dare do that. <sighs> I never, I defend you Ma more than Ma I Mariah do anything else. Mariah told me, daddy, mommy told me you have a girlfriend. Daddy, mommy told me um, that you were out with this girl. I'm like, like what is mommy telling you? Do your, do your kids tell. know about the other woman and your other son? Melanie's told them both things, the, the, the child so and the other accurate, woman. So let me say this. If is that is matter? I'm about to, if well, I told my children that you had a child, Whenever we pulled up to West End Grill a few weeks ago, <laughs> while you were there with your baby mama and your child, and my kids was crying, and I had to calm Why them down. Why did you drive over there? I, uh, I can pick the whole picture right for No, you're uh, pathetic, because no. here's the thing, I don't have to protect your life. The next thing I knew, my daughter Mariah had her window down, and her body was out saying, get away from my dad! Get away from my father! So by the time I look up, I see it's him, his child, and his baby mother. When Mariah saw you, your son, and your child's mother together, it was from a distance, yeah. So your daughter, seeing her father, a woman, a child, just put two and two together. No, nope, she still don't know. She still doesn't know. Because I'm not about to do that. That ain't my place to tell. But why haven't you told the kids yet that they have a, a brother? I guess it just takes time. Are you We're not good. Period. We're not good. We're not good because, you know, all the things that have taken place, me finding out certain things a year ago. Why is that still playing a part in us right now? I'm about to go I, under, and you're talking about something that took place over a year ago. But then still, after the fact, one thing after the other after the other, that's why we're That's not typical good. relationship things right there. Typical? Yes, going through things. I'm not talking about what happened over a year ago. I'm talking about the other stuff that you're talking about after that. Martel, it's not typical. Hmm. You always have a comeback. We can come back if you come back. The comeback group. And see, everything's a joke to you. So what I need you to understand is you're going to be downstairs. I'm going to be upstairs. Downstairs because it's more convenient for you. And then whenever you're three weeks and you're able to get around a little bit more, then we're gonna have to figure out other arrangements. What? A, okay, we can talk about it right now. What other arrangements? What, we'll see you, mine. What you mean? I think we need some time apart, obviously. You talk, what do you mean? What do you mean? I just said exactly what I mean. Is I feel devalued, I feel disrespected, I feel unappreciated, and I don't feel like, babe, I don't feel- Babe, babe, I'm sorry. I don't wanna talk no more. Just have a seat. I'm serious. You don't wanna talk anymore? No, no, I don't. We're not friends anymore. Hey, Doc, how are you, sir? Uh, you know, I don't have a problem with your brother or Troy. I don't know that because you're saying Dad, something. Dad, you said I've been around them for 13 years. Like, we go there. I want to go see them just as much as you. I didn't want the kids around your brother all the time. That's all. And you think you're better with the choices and things that they're around seeing you make and do mm -hmm. and treat their mother? Yeah, them, they, the kids didn't see me yes, do all did. of that. They've seen you on FaceTime. Yeah. Well, they heard you on the phone talking to your dude. No, they never have. Liar. Don't have to do. Liar. I'm not the a liar. Told me that. The girls they did not tell you that. The girls didn't tell you that. You me. never said that to me until now, and I don't believe that. Got heated. Like always, every time we get together, it's always something. So it's like, what are we gonna do? I know, I know we we go in opposite directions, but still we have to um, find some type of um, median for the kids. You know, they've already been affected by us not being here, and it's only making things worse. I think for all of us, you know. Um, I still I love the I love the hell out of you. You know what I'm saying? I do. I wish this never happened. I miss us. I wish this was all a dream. I wish I was gonna wake up and you didn't tell me that. Not all of it, Mel. I mean, I know you hurt, and you know, I'm hurt going through things. Like, I never, me doing all that stupid stuff, it's like, I never wanted this to be us. What did you think it would be? Because we had everything that we wanted. Everything was, was right. Yeah, everything was right. Well. You have to treat people right. Maybe you can get uh, two or three good ones that's going to stick with you. Y'all get like three babysitters mm -hmm. that you and him approve of together. I've done that. I've tried to do that. It didn't work. People don't really be liking to deal with Martel. So he just put, he's pushing them away, basically, mm -hmm. what you said. He's hes pushing them away. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's doing this intentionally. It's, I think it's just him being in a hurt, terrible place. First off, um, and then I, I had no choice. So we were filming, and then I filmed a scene with my, um, with my attorney, talking about full custody. And then somehow, some way, Melody heard about that. And next thing you know, in December, um, my son had got like a scratch on his head. 
he and I, um, I was playing, we were playing around the table and stuff like that. Um, but I got on to him too though, but he bumped his head on the table and scratched his little head. Um, and then, you know, instead of Melody giving me a call, she went straight to her attorney and, and said that I, I hit my son 25 times. I la I gave him 25 lashes and also hit him upside the head with a um, back scratcher and made him bleed or whatnot. So she had me in court for that. And she didn't even call me to ask me what happened. So for 56 days, the judge took the kids away from me for 56 days because she accused me of that, falsely accused me. So we went to court. I won that in court. You never know. You never know what they mean. Like you never know what they mean to be to, until they be at your door crying. Say I'm sorry. I didn't mean, girl. You never know what they mean. You never know. Excuses, excuses. Being a hundred percent transparent with you all right now. Sometimes I wake up and I want revenge, and sometimes I want justice. So it's both for me at this point in life. Seen, I've seen that she goes crazy whenever somebody speaks about her every single time. It's like having you. It's like you're talking about getting married. Or you're married, one or the other, you know? It's no, oh, this my girlfriend. No, it's no, oh, this my girlfriend. No, it's like, shit, are we getting married or are we not getting married? You know? Getting married or are we not getting married? You know? It shouldn't be too many, too much in between. Because somebody that's mess around and <laughs> right. mess, mess around and be dating for you, my girlfriend, for five years. No. Mm -mm. Dating for you, my girlfriend, for five years. No. Because mm -mm. when you got a nigga chasing for five years, <laughs> you know, bitch. Or he told her that he wasn't going to choose. And she so basically, three more he, years. He, he left it up to her to choose. Well, both of y'all, pretty much. If you want, I would to. say both of us. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it took two to do what happened with us. You know, I got I you. Just, I didn't just damn jump off the cliff for no reason. We did our dirt. Right. And but the thing is, you don't disrespect my wife, though. You know. That's why I called her peasant at the beginning. Nobody knows that. He left the children in the restaurant with however many people was in the restaurant as babysitters to leave the restaurant and go and have an argument outside of this particular restaurant in bridge street with coleslaw uh i let her go on her rants or she's upset with me about certain things let her do her thing and then hopefully you know the, the light bulb click off in her head and be like i, I shouldn't be doing this i'm not okay. fucking i'm not profiting off of this much to be hurting my relationship with the father of my children, you know, I'm not profit off of that much. It's not worth it. You know, let me not make that sacrifice continuously. You know, like I sent you some papers, right? I sent you some documents. No, you did not send me papers. You did not. I oh, want oh, you told me you were hey, gonna hey, send no, no, you no, wanna no, send no. them my, now? My my, my P stop, I'm so sorry. My but I needed those papers to come no. from you. No, so no, do no, I listen. have permission? Your permission to talk about those documents. No, listen. Oh yeah, you have you have permission. You have permission. So my PR sent you paperwork. I don't even in terms of like discussing it or trying to say, oh she was wrong on this, wrong on that. It's like damn. Like, I don't even like the back and forth, like right now, or period. You know what I'm saying? I did do my research because I was like, let me do my research to make sure I didn't miss anything. And, and, and regarding the papers that you're talking about, I searched high and low because I, I want to be factual. I want to be accurate. I did not hear yeah. her say anything about that particular, what we're talking about. If that mm -hmm. makes sense. I was like, let me go back. Let me pull up this interview. And I didn't hear her. I, actually, what I heard her say is we're not talking about that. She did like about four or five motions against me um, in terms of being an abusive father to my son. Um, in terms of abuse and stuff like that, it's like I've never been an abusive person. I've never harmed my children or nothing like that. And I, well, shut up, shut up, shut up. But let me ask you this. Do you want to talk about this knowing that the kids could see it? Because what I saw is what the child said and not Melody. And that's why I kind of want to steer away from this. Because I, no, I read so, so, what your so listen, I read so what you said. Yeah, so, so let me say this here. So if I get either one of my children right here, right now. But you don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Gotcha. My kid's not here. I'm, it's hypothetical. If I got my children, either one of them right here, right now, and I ask them a question, I can manipulate them easily. Yeah, he said, he said, mommy said what? Mommy's saying that you're like uh, cheating on her and stuff, but like during you guys' marriage, like getting. Yeah. I don't know. And she also said that um, you keep getting like other girls pregnant and stuff. Too. I didn't ask her anything. Mommy told you that I keep getting other girls pregnant and that I'll keep cheating on her? No, it's a lie. Well, why'd she tell you that? No. A lie. I don't know, because she's telling us how we didn't realize when we get old or something, and she, like, still kind of, like, tells us that something. So, Did you ask her any questions? She just came out and just told Oh, uh, she, like, she, like, sits down and talks to us separately, and then we, she also gives us a therapy, and she talks to our therapist to tell us how we feel about, like, not she being in different houses and how we fit and stuff like that. Do anyone else? If, if you, uh, if your husband said that you abused your, your child, I don't, shit, you're not going to have your children. You're going to be in jail or something like that, too. For 56 days, 
the judge took the kids away from me for 56 days. We were filming and then I filmed a scene with my, um, with my attorney talking about full custody. And then somehow, some way, Melody heard about that. And next thing you know, in December, um, my son had got like a scratch on his head. He and I, um, I was playing, we were playing around the table and stuff like that. Um, but I got on to him too, though. But he bumped his head on the table and scratched his little head. Um, and then, you know, instead of Melody giving me a call, she went straight to her attorney and and said that I, I hit my son 25 times. I, la I gave him 25 lashes and also hit him upside the head with a um, back scratcher and made him bleed or whatnot. So she had me in court for that. And she didn't even call me to ask me what happened. So for 56 days, the judge took the kids away from me for 56 days. I did see the documents that your publicist sent over with your permission. I saw also, Martel, that they gave you a trespassing warning. I saw that you were no, no, sanctioned. I'm, 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 sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't say they, our attorney, the our attorney. Okay, but it was in the court documents that was sent from your team. So it's, and also, um, you were sanctioned. That's why I didn't want to talk about it. Because no, 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 listen, no, listen, listen. Oh, okay. let me finish. I, you know, I sent it. I sent that to my publicist and sent it to you because I'm very oh, transparent. Okay, okay. It's, not like, it's not like my publicist went behind my back and got it sent to you. You know it, right? No, I don't. But that's oh, why. Okay, that's well, why. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so okay. yeah, she sent, I sent it to her to send to you. I am an open book. I'm very transparent. Okay. It's the reason for all of that. So the reason that I was sanctioned is monetary only, money. She said that only thing is because I didn't want to go to um, counseling. I'm like, why do I got to go to counseling? Because um, it all happened when Melody said that um, I hit my son 25 times. I didn't see that. I, well, I saw, no. oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It didn't say, I didn't see the part where it says Melody said. It said the child said, and it gave an accurate, in parentheses, right? Where the child quoted to the doctor, where the child quoted what was going on. Thinking about it, something totally different. You about to talk about the, um, like the punch on the arm or something like that. That's what you about to talk about. So that's, that's totally different. But it still happened. No, no, no. No, no, I'm saying it's still totally different what you're saying, what I'm talking about, something totally different. Right. So the, 20, the 25 lakes is something totally different than what you're about to, to speak on. Yeah. Okay. But it's still uh, it's still kind of in the arena of what you're talking about. And okay, the so, judge... so regardless, look, regardless of what, you know, we went to court for everything and it was never found that I abused my child or my children, period. Well, so what they ordered you to do is to go to therapy and work yeah. with the guys. So, 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 oh, so, so, yeah, so that was in the beginning. That's why. I was sanctioned because I'm like, for oh, what? You know, um, so this happened at the beginning when, you know, it was more of like, uh, Marte, you struck the kids 25 times. That's when my children was taken away from me for 56 days. And that was before they even heard um, my side or what really happened. It just immediately took the kids. <laughs> Why did you lose trust in Arion when she shared with Carson what you and Melody had going on in your own private marriage? Did that make you feel some kind of way that Arion would share that with Carson, that other girl that appeared on Love and Marriage Huntsville? How did you feel about that? Oh, what, what did you, oh, I'm so sorry. What did she share with Carson? You know what she shared now. Don't play with me, Martel Hope. Okay, it almost seemed like you was talking about yeah. something different than what I know. Okay, I don't know. What hit oh, the so, internet? How did you feel about Ariane taking your private marriage business to, to, to somebody she met on the internet? That had to make you have feel some kind of way. You, you know, so, certain people are, are opportunists, and they'll say and do whatever they can to, to get in and make them seem like they're a really, really good friend or something like that. And people just, other people, like they open up, trusting that, that those people or that person that they are who they say they are. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, because she knew I wasn't lying, but probably was trying to come up with an angle or way to discredit me. So, um, and again, I, I don't think that, I think that Carson a lot about things too, but I don't think that, well, I know that, well, I'll take that back. How do you feel about Arion discussing your marital business and what you have with your ex-wife with a complete stranger? I, I'll be real, I mean, that's disappointing, you know? I mean, yeah. everybody make mistakes. Everybody make mistakes. So, um, I'm gonna leave it right there. Yeah. But I, did you have a conversation about the way that backfired on you? Because it's not good right now. Did you sit um, down and say, listen, when I talk to you about what's going on, you know, and I'm sharing with you as a woman, you know, then what, however long that was, that's not for you to go to somebody else as so a man. Listen, so listen, um, this happened over a year and a half ago. Mel and I, we talked about it a year and a half ago. We talked about it with Carlos a year and a half ago, and we talked to our attorneys about it. So my thing is, Carson, I saw her, her live, whatever. And she mentioned, she referenced Melody about three times on there. Was it two or three? You, I think you know. You, 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 you do know how many times she Keep referenced? Keep going. I'm, I'm following. I'm trying to process. Okay, so, so, so she, re she referenced Melody about two or three times. So I'm like, how is she so for certain that Melody got this information? Unless you already talked to Melody. And make it seem like there's no way that I could be telling the truth. As far as, I don't know what she could. I mean, that's why I said. I mean, whatever she wanted to come. Come. Go ahead, tell, show your receipts. Like, what what receipts could you have then? 59 weeks. So this was 59 weeks ago. 
general guys. We're, scroll, we're gonna scroll all the way up. These are our DMs. And mind you, I, <laughs> y'all, cause y'all, y'all YouTubers, y'all gonna, y'all gonna get the tea and go do what y'all need to do. Y'all gonna have the receipts and dates and all this. I can't make this up, y'all. This right here, boop. She asked me to go to a comedy show. I cashed up for the money for it. In here. She asked me to go. This is me, her, her responding. This is, this is the child. Her asking me, she said, hey girl, what are you doing on the 25th? Me. 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 And so again, if anything, Ariane, Ariane could only have said, um, Martel um, is really upset and he's talking about um, putting out a, um, a sex tape of Nelly or something like that. I and then you even went as far as saying, but the video is of them. He's mad at me. He feels like I should just listen. Like, come on now. So Ariane didn't go to her and say that Martel talking about me creating a fake page and want me to post. Like, why would I need her to create a fake page and post why? Did you perform fellatio with, um, on, on, on a man? So I'm going to be real specific. Somebody performed it on me. You told me that you did it. I got the recording. I got the recording. I got the recording. I got the recording. I can create a fake page and post it. But then she was sounding a little distressed. Huh. Martel wants me to make a fake page and post as a guy and post a video of Melody giving him head, but wants me to act like I'm a different guy. Go ask her that. So let me finish though. You know what I'm saying? But how do you feel about Ariane just talking too much and oversharing? Sometimes I'm not, people I'm not, overshare. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. You know? At all. Um, so, so some people, you know, they make mistakes, you know, I've, um, I've, that's taken care of. And some people just make mistakes. If we enjoy this, let's sit down and talk about it and let that be it. If I do something that you don't like, call me. Don't go to social media. That's what I'm trying to tell her. Like, you didn't have to go to social media if you heard something. Call me. Because if I did, I'll come to you and we can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Okay, we're going to start with this. Here's an instance where Slarion, his raggedy ass baby mama, took to social media and didn't call his raggedy ass and let him know that she felt like her son, baby Slaw, was an outsider. Everybody makes mistakes. What I'm talking about. Everybody does. Did you or did you not? Okay. Um, so, but that's beside the point. The, the, the major point is, you know, Melody could have called me opposed to going online. Uh -uh, and, that's, not, and, that's not her responsibility. No, no, no. Let's no, not no. do yeah. that. That's not her responsibility. <laughs> Are you okay, son? My son got sick from his sibling, unfortunately. He's not in daycare. He doesn't start daycare till August, so he got sick from being around his sibling. If Ariane is having, no, no, no. hold on. If Ariane is having, let's not do that because that's not your responsibility. If somebody's telling Melody, it's not your responsibility. If Ariane is having oh, a oh, conversation, this is over a year and a half ago. Never. If Ariane is having a conversation that you don't know she's having, and Melody yeah. doesn't know she's having, you're both over here. That is not Melody's right. responsibility to pick up the phone no. to call you about what Ariane is doing. You don't even no, know. So I guess doing. no, you you you're not you're not understanding what I was saying. I'm, I, I'm following you. Okay, what what I'm saying here is when when Carson went live mm -hmm. and, I, and i feel that if it, if it wasn't if it wasn't orchestrated by i don't know by melody and carson i don't know because again carson mentioned melody's name two or three times saying that melody y'all go ask melody i'm pretty sure she got the tape or melody got something so if y'all think i'm lying what y'all should do the same way y'all been harassing me is go ask melody do you have a video giving your husband head and i'm like damn they must have orchestrated something hey boo i don't have any plans I'll be in town for a couple of days and y'all have a comedy show on the 25th. I want to go. I'm about to send you the guy page. Everybody said he's funny. I never even been to a comedy show on Hunts Girl, y'all, ever. Me? <sighs> okay, let's go. She sent me the guy page, whatever. I don't care who he is. And then she like, okay, perfect. The ticket's on his website link. I'm about to buy one. They only like $27. Me, buy mine. I'll cash app or zillion. Okay, send me your information. Then she sent me her cash app. I'm buying them now. I'm sending it now. So y'all can see. <laughs> let's let's go to the top. Okay. So I probably start no like knew of her. Um, didn't meet her until August, but July 2021 was our first like the first time she hopped in my DMs. I posted something, and as a matter of fact, y'all seen this post? Honestly, never trust a nigga with a baggy watch. Um. Once. Carson did all her stuff. I feel that Melody could have called me then. And, and Martel, what did you share with Ariel? Oh. And coming back from Florida, I was opened up to drama that I ain't been opened up to and I don't know how long because I really mind my business, stay in my world. And to be quite clear, I have stayed away from you. Don't hold me accountable for, for someone else being disrespectful. But Melody can't hold me accountable because someone else is acting immature and things of that nature. 
I am going to hold you accountable the same way. Yo, I'm going to hold you accountable why, why, why the same you way. I was, for someone else's I'm going to hold you accountable why, why, why the same you way. I was, for someone else's I'm going to hold you accountable the same way that I held you accountable all the years in my marriage that I was disrespected by this person, and then you went and had a baby with him and kept with him, even though they kept disrespecting your wife. Holds too. Going online, dragging me, making making me seem like I actually put she the didn't video She said, there's a tape. I listened to it. I heard her say, because I like to listen in the bushes. And she, she said, there is a tape that does exist. She, she drugged me. She don't know, she don't know if it's a video that, that exists. She doesn't know that. She did. I, 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 I sent her a screenshot. So there was a video alive that he did where he literally talked about the case and came for me. And I responded to that live. Things of that nature. So I just want to just come on and, and really just talk about I guess some of the things is going on. Uh, this is the criteria. Like, we have to limit the babysitters. Um, again, guys, it's like 20, 20, 23 plus babysitters. Whenever I responded to that live, he sent me a screenshot of the video from the video. And I know the video. I remember where we were. I did. I sent, okay. her, screen, I sent her a screenshot um, of, of, of her and I. I did. I sent her a screenshot. And I sent you, did you see that, that text message in your phone? I mean, that uh, my PR sent to you? There were so many images. I got to no, as many. No, no, no I'm, I'm sorry, but it, it was a, a text message. It was only one text message. And I sent it to you for the, I sent, I'll, I'll sent you okay. all these documents for a particular reason. And I asked my PR if you had seen it all. She told me if you've seen it all. Because when I, when I talk, I want you to be able to be like, refer to go it. Ahead, yeah. Go ahead, go um, So the text message, I, I was telling you that I said, stop bullying me. Um, okay, know, I saw that. I saw that. Right. Go ahead. Like I was begging her like to, to like to stop going online, saying stuff about me and, and, and dragging me. And this was like a year and a half ago. I was like begging I her like to stop, I to saw stop that. bullying me. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think on her interview, she actually mentioned that. But I'm like, dang, if I'm up here begging you to stop bullying me, I could not have gone live before that and dogging you out. No, I was begging you to just leave yeah. me alone. And then I sent her a screenshot and I told her, I said, um, I said, I don't, I don't care if this ruined me or not. I said, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? I sent her the screenshot. And I never said I was going to post a video. I never said that I was going to do that. But I guess it kind of, it was saying that if you don't stop, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I do, you know. No, okay. Yeah, that's okay. it. Why do you think that Arianne or Carson would make that up? Or Arianne would make up the fact that there is a tape or, or a video? Or, 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 or Carson would make it up. Only How would she know Arianne that? Just, only because Arianne mentioned it. I, I don't know. I got you. I mean, Arianne could have just mentioned that Martell's talking about a sex tape, whatever. And then Carson trying to get on the show, which she's not going to get on. She's trying to get on the show. And now she's calling Melody. Hey, like, I don't know. I could have plotted something. I don't, I don't know. These... They're good at what they do. And y'all couldn't get her to discuss the tape. That's the issue at hand. But they're trying. This is what they're trying to do. At the end of the day, what they're trying to do is basically distract y'all from what happened, what she said, Martel said to her, what is actually going on. Never, I, I never said I'm going to put a video out. A video isn't out. No one told me not to put it out. A judge, and, I mean, we mentioned, she mentioned in court. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, I mean... I never put nothing out. Never said I was going to put anything out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why even go online crying or or making it seem like I did it or something? I have not. Well, it's not her I, fault. I, I, would not, I would not have done it. You know what I'm saying? I would not have done it. And this was a year and a half ago. We've already talked about it. A big thing, it should have been more like, hey, we've already talked about it. I'm not even going to make it seem like this well, she, It's not about you and her. And I think you're missing that. It's about Arion telling somebody else. I think you and Melody were clear. No, so no. It's, it's about Carson going on live. Mm -hmm. No, it's about Carson going on live, putting stuff out. It's not, about, it's, it's, not, it's not about what a friend, or friend, you act as if you're a friend, right? You act as if you're a friend, you spend like you're a friend, you was a fake friend, you was an opportunist. And now you're trying to jump on a TV show, being an opportunist. It's clear as day. And I hate it. She won't be on the show. She won't. I don't care. So she. Yeah. But Arion reached out to her, she said. So how no, was she an opportunity? No, no, no. I mean, how do you real? know that, Martel? You no, don't, no, no. Women get on the phone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because women get on the phone and they can talk. I'm a woman. I'm telling you. Women I'm be saying. talking about shit that men don't even know. <laughs> I so, know. Trust me. So how I'm are you saying. so sure of what this I'm girl so sure. said? I'm not so Thank sure. Thank you. I'm not so sure. Okay. But huh. Martel wants me to make a fake page and post as a guy and post a video of Melody giving him head but wants me to act like I'm a different guy. 
I said, what? I'm like, what? She said, Martell wants her to create a fake page acting like a guy and to upload a video of Melody. Actually, he's, she's actually giving her husband head in the video. But she, I, I'm assuming, now I did not see this video, okay? But I'm assuming, what I am assuming is that Martell must not be in the video. If he felt comfortable enough to even ask her to do this, he must not be in the video. Yeah. It's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not. It's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not. In, no. in the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not. In